Oh, I've thought about this a few times, I think. I mean, you'd like to be able to um, move through time, wouldn't you? That would be a great advantage. I mean, being able to go ahead and maybe put some bets on and make a load of money or, you know, go back and, and fix something that you regret. So, I mean, time travel would have to be a great, uh, you know, power to have. Um, maybe uh, being invisible would be quite uh, unique of opportunity as well but I mean there's there's a lot of things I guess you could you could see advantage in, in having power at. Maybe have uh, if you could have sort of a ultimate grip no then you could go <laughs> as fast as you want couldn't you? <laughs> you know stopping you. Um, don't know really be able to fly. <laughs> I'd be like what Cal Pilkinson said man <laughs> just swoop in don't need a costume anybody talking just walk swoop in you're talking I hate people that just talk, tell lies. I think I'd be uh, extra super hard-ons that lasted forever and I'd be able to shag out what I wanted for as long as I wanted. <laughs> what should we say? <laughs> I'd be like Spider-Man. And <laughs> I'd be like... <laughs> I, uh, my favourite superhero is Spider-Man and I'd, uh, you know, be cool to be able to swing round and uh, from anywhere on that. Big boner. <laughs> you two make sure he's not. No, uh, I don't know, be invisible or something. There's a normal one for you. <laughs> I think it's got perfect people in there. Um, maybe scared of the, of the TT you know they race around on the, all the Grand Prix circuits with the best machinery and they don't have to come here to race the world championship anymore like it would have been in the years gone by so I mean if you could put the you know the in, in the current era if you could put the likes of um, Lorenzo, Pedroza, Stoner and Rossi and uh, and then put them on the on the on the roads and around the TT course it'd be it'd be interesting to see which one's got the the bigger um, ego maybe and uh, that'd, that'd be an interesting one to watch. Maybe David Jeffers again. See if I could beat him. <laughs> He's just annihilated me when we were racing. Uh, I don't know. Aylwood. Mike Aylwood. David Jeffries. And uh, maybe Steve Islop. Maybe. For me, I'm going to say any riders in any championship, unfortunately it's not even going to be road racing. It would be uh, Ricky Johnson in uh, you know, the AMA Supercross and that champion. Uh, I think then it's going to be Ricky Carmichael, uh, you know, the best motorcycle uh, crosser rider there is. And I think then uh, it would be like do it with David Knight on the motocross again. It's, it's motocross, you know, that's where my thing is. Uh, Joey Dunlop, because he's my hero. Oh, I don't know. George Formby? I don't know. <laughs> Jeff Duke. Jeff Duke, yeah, that would be bloody one, I tell you. Yeah, it'd be a big box to tick. I think I would like to have come back when Jock Taylor was racing. He was obviously my hero as a kid, and that's why this year is important to me. I want to emulate what he did, and he was the only other person to win a TT as world champion, so we're coming here as world champions. Um, I'd like to try and win it, and I think I, if I could yeah, go back, it would be back on equivalent to machinery to he was riding and race against him. What about you? Yeah. yeah what are you asking? I don't know. I probably want to come on a nice big dirty old 500 two stroke. Don't care who would ride against. What on a solo you mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Smoke one man, it'd be sweet that would be. Nick Doohan's bike or something? Yeah, yeah, that'd be good. And who would you race against? I wouldn't be bothered. Mike Howard. I'd just be glad to stay That's the only, it's the only time we'd have a chance of beating him. And they're on their old MVs and you're on a brand new factory NSF. <laughs> well, obviously, uh, obviously Joey and obviously the old man too, so you can probably throw in Steve. Yeah. You should have an old Dunlop race. You could, yeah, and throw in Mago, yeah, it'd be something different. I'd let look, even like Steve Hassel, Carl Foggery. So many boys you'd want to race against, but yeah, I suppose Joey and Robert. Probably say um, the bike Marquez is riding. <laughs> you know, it'd be good to see what one of them could do around the TT. Whether it'd last, that's another thing. But uh, yeah, it'd be good. Um, be good to have a go on a shot with a snap. <laughs> be uh, be interesting. But I don't know really. Um, Super being serious, probably an RC30 or something like that. Be pretty mega like. Probably the 256. You know, the famous six-cylinder 250 on the round the Isle of Man. 
at the time when they rode them, you know, just to see how hard they did ride them, you know, it was incredible lap times, just to see if you could match what they actually did on the track with their tyres and brakes and a pudding basin on, <laughs> a pair of goggles, <laughs> and a tea bag on for leathers. Uh, choose two bikes, uh, two ends of the scale, uh, it'd be the three cylinder 500 MV that I go won so much on and it's the one I'm going to ride at the Manx Grand Prix so you know, I'll get in my dream there, it's fantastic ride, obviously I got a little bit of a taster in 08 and it was just unreal, so to ride that again, uh, another step up on uh, on that and then it would also be the new uh, them Repsol Ondas that are out at the minute, to have a go on that baby around here would be fantastic. <laughs> Honda 6, I struggled to fit on the bloody thing. Um, fan like a real fantastic bit of kit, you know, Honda built and broke, you know, won many races around here. Uh, probably a Jolera, a classic as well. And I'm actually riding two Manx feather beds this year for Tony Dunnell and the classic TT. So hopefully, uh, I, I do actually fit on them, which is a handy. And uh, I can't wait to get down Bray Hill on them. So yeah, I think I'm actually riding a couple of bikes uh, this year that, you know, tick a few boxes for me, personally. Brad Pitt, obviously. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know about a male one, but female would be Kate Winslet. She's got a little issue for her. <laughs> a little soft spot for her. Don't know why. <laughs> Just trying to make a film about me. I don't know, some clown, Adam Sadler or someone like that, he'd be the man to play me. And leading lady, not really anyone fit with a nice chassis on it, would be uh, about what we'd choose. I don't know really. Uh, Eric Banner, because I'm a big fan of his. And, uh, well, you get angry though. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Burst out my leathers. <laughs> uh, Dolly Parton, because she's got big t Oh, leading lady. Oh, uh, Megan Fox. I'd be playing myself. <laughs> so, <laughs> definitely. <laughs>